Hi, my name is Keith, and I have a web page, and the name of it is summertimebees.com. And I come up with an idea to try to help my bees get through the winter. So most most of the hives are made out of a uh, uh, just one inch board, which is actually three quarters of an inch. And the R value for that is 1.02. So I started how what can I do to raise my R value on my hive to help the bees stay warm. So I decided well I'll try to use thicker wood. The the wild bees, the feral bees live in the woods and uh, you know they live in trees and some trees are very thick that they live in. And the more R value they have the better that the uh, bees can regulate the temperature in the hive and uh, move around, especially in the wintertime and feed their self and keep their brood alive. So I come up with this idea. I'm gonna make a honeybee hive out of tuba fours. Uh, so the R value on a tuba four is 4.92. So quite a bit of difference, you know, using uh, a tuba four versus a three quarter inch board. So, so I would use my radio arm saw here and I set my set my guide here, and I'm cutting them right at 21 and three quarters. So, and it makes makes a board like that. It, it takes a, a lot of boards to make this hive. So, anyway, like I fell down there. So, that's what it looks like when you cut it. And then to give it a design, as you can see, have I got one here put together? So it kind of looks like a little log cabin. Is you know trying to make a little. A little fancy. So anyway, I use this miter table I have right here, and you can use whatever size uh, bit you want to use. I got a pretty big one. It looks like a one inch. I'm not sure what the size it is, but I think it looks like a one inch. And I'll take it and I'll I'll have it running, and I'll cut the end out of this miter the end of this two before right here, across here like that. And I will flip it over, and then I'll miter the other one, other side. And then you have to be careful because it's going to grab and jump and but, you know, be careful what you do. And then I'll take it and I'll miter this side like this, like that. And then I'll flip it over and do the other side, like that. And that makes a pretty neat board. And it makes them look like that. And here's one that I did a while ago. Okay, I turned the saw on, but it's real loud and hurt your ears. So, anyway, it makes a little little board on the end. It's kind of rat, you know, chewed up a little bit. Based on you, know, how every wood's going to do, everyone does a little. Every board does a little bit of difference. So it makes a board like that. Then after you get that, uh, I stack them up. They go six high, and after you stick them, make them six high like this here. Right, then you can take your your frame here, and like that, your little frame, and it'll slide right down in on top of that, just like that, and. After you get that, let me turn the camera a little bit where you can see. I'm oh, sorry. So, after you get it like that, you know, you get all your boards, get all your boards cut like this, and you start stacking them. Let me find another board. You got another board like this. Here's one right here. You start stacking them like, like so. You got your, your straight edge here, and you get it around. You stack them like that. So it makes it like a like a joint. It makes it makes it all look the same, which would make your corner make your corner straight right here like that, like, like this. And you just stack them. If you want to go higher, but the next board I use, and I'll tell you about in a second. But I'm showing you how you stack them. Next board, you stack it. See your seam right here. You stack it just like that, like I have right here on every one. So you you cover. You put a screw here, a screw there, and a screw there. And the next one you would do you would do like that. So you overlap them so the screws will uh, hold them all together. So, but after I get them six high, I got one more board to go. Uh, I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll see which way I want to put my frames. It's a square. That's the reason. No, I, I could put a frame wrench and run them in like that. But I thought I'd do it like this. But they fit a little bit better. Everything's going to be not perfect, but it's pretty close. So I, I put this board here and this board here. Then I take this board right here and I lay it just like 
that, okay? And then I mark it on the inside where it's going to go. Then I'll take my radio arm saw right here, and I'll, I'll cut that mark and make a little little groove. Then I'll take my table saw here, and I'll cut that, cut that strip off right here, okay? And that's where my frame to go down for my frame rest. Like this one right here. Yeah. And you put it in there. Do this side, this side. That way your frames you just drop right out in there. And that's how it looks. Kind of look, kind of neat. I kind of like the way it looks. I mean, it's got to chew out places in it, but it's going to look, it's going to cause my log cabin to hide. Made out of two by fours. And I still got to put the bottom on it. And uh, I got to put the top on it. On the bottom, I'm uh, probably put a bottom entrance in it. Uh, I got a friend on WoollyBees.com that has done that, and so far has kept the high beetle from getting in this high because the high beetle have a hard time flying up the uh, the hole in the bottom. So I got that idea from him. He's a real nice guy. Check his videos out, and we'll put the top on it. Pretty much, that's my two before hive. Thank you for watching. Remember to go to summertime.com and check out the uh, my webpage. I'm selling queens and packages and uh, nukes, whatever you need for your bee supplies. Uh, um, this is my third year doing it. I'm not real. I don't have a whole lot of stuff, you know, for hard bees, but I can supply the hobby beekeeper, whatever kind of queens and stuff they need. I have a real, real good variety of them. So. Thanks for watching. My name is Keith again. Remember, go look at summertimebees.com. Enjoy the hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.